Hey Pit Masters, what is up? Today we're going to be cooking sweet and sticky ribs. No, don't, don't worry about it. We're not cooking chicken today. Today we're cooking these beautiful pork ribs. Don't worry, I'll make it up to you. What? Ah, luckily we were cooking ribs today, so she's all right. So today we're gonna to be cooking up some beautiful spare ribs and not just any ribs, sweet and sticky ribs. I promise you, everybody is gonna love your ribs when you make these. Before we are going to prepare these ribs, we're gonna fire up our barbecue. And today we're cooking with the Weber Summit Charcoal. The Weber Summit Charcoal is well known for its low and slow capabilities. So it's gonna be perfect for cooking our ribs. <laughs> Look at this. You're not allowed to use these in your car. So we can't be cooking in our car motion. No barbecue briquettes in this car. So we'll load up our summit charcoal. We'll light up our barbecue and when it's fully lit up, we're going to add our smoke wood. I like to use apple chunks for smoke wood. They're really good and tasty with pork ribs. And we're also going to add a big chunk of beech tree to enhance the smoke flavors. Now we'll place on our heat deflector our grill grates and we'll close the lid set the bottom vent to a quarter open you always want to check at the actual bottom of the vent to make sure that you get it right the top vent will set to half open these ribs are going to be finger licking good and when you're looking for that typical barbecue flavor you got to start with a good rub a barbecue rib consists of one part sugar half part salt, one part paprika powder, one eighth part onion powder, one eighth part garlic powder, and one eighth part curry powder. Mix that all up, break up the big lumps that are in there. And just because I enjoy it so much, we're gonna do a quick taste test. It has a lot of salt and a lot of sugar. This is exactly what we need for our ribs. Of course, we got the paprika powder and a little bit of the onion in the back. This is gonna be really good on our ribs. Look at how much meat is on these ribs. The bone is right here at the bottom and then all of this, that is meat. <laughs> these are gonna be some juicy, tender, meaty ribs. They're gonna taste amazing. We want as much flavor as we can get on these ribs. So we're going to use a dinner knife and take off the membrane. Wiggle it underneath along the bone. And when you're all the way through, put your finger in, push down and tear it off. Now we'll sprinkle on our rub. We're going to put our ribs on the barbecue. We're running at a temperature of 110 degrees Celsius, which is 225 degrees Fahrenheit. We're going to close the lid and let it smoke for three hours. Three hours have gone by and look at those ribs. Wow, these look absolutely amazing. You can see how moisture they still are. Fantastic bark on the outside, picked up a little bit of smoke. Time to get them off the grill and wrap them in butcher's paper. And then we'll put them straight back on the grill. Close the lid and let them continue to cook at a temperature of 110 degrees Celsius. Time to sauce things up. This sauce is gonna be extra sticky. That's why we have our special ingredient. Bum, 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 bum. Get your manis! I decided to get a bigger uh, dose. You can use Bango or ABC. Now we're gonna start with around a quarter cup of this. Oh, look at that. Oy. Nice. To this we're going to add half a cup of ketchup, a quarter cup of honey, a quarter cup of sugar, and two tablespoons of Worcester sauce. And finally, three tablespoons of our homemade barbecue rub. We'll mix it up, bring it to a boil, and when you get that syrupy bubble, it's done. Of course, we need to try our sauce and make sure that it's good. Mm. Wow. You almost get like a balsamic vinegar from the ketchup manis. Just tastes so good. Motion, you need to try this, bro. I love ketchup. I love it too. It's strong in flavor, but it's going to be perfect for our ribs when we brush it on. Mm. It's going to be so good. Now all we have to do is wait for our ribs to be done. That's probably going to take another two hours. Time to get to work. That's uh, my sauce uh, spanking. Time to get these ribs off. It's going to be so hot. Ow, 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 ow. Oh yeah. Look at that. Wow. What a beauty. Oh, these are super tender. 
Let me turn them around. Look at how juicy this is. This is just crazy. I can feel from the movement that it's almost fall apart tender. The bones are pulling away nicely from the meat. This is an absolutely beautiful rib rack. We got some of that smoke color on there. We got the beautiful popping color of the rub. What a beauty. There you go, honey. Back on the grill. Nice and warm. Let's get the sauce on. You look really happy. I am happy. I'm in that zone, you know? That happiness, that, that barbecue glow. Wow, there we go. There we go. Whoa. They're all sauced up, time to close the lid. We just want the sauce to stick to the ribs, for the brush stripes to disappear, and then they're done, because they're almost, almost fall apart tender. They're gonna be so good. 15 more minutes. Wow, time to get them off. Wow, look at that beautiful shine. Careful now, oh, there we go. Look at how beautiful that looks. We got that nice red shine on this thing. Look at it. It looks so good. You just want to bite into it. Mind blowing. Time to slice into these things. Oh, I bet you they're going to be absolutely fantastic. Oh, mm -hmm. you didn't just see that. No, oh, it fell apart. Whoa. Look at that. These are some juicy ribs. Come in closer. Take a look at how juicy this is. This is absolutely crazy. But truly, there's only one way to determine how good these ribs actually are. There we go. Mm. They're full of the bone tender. That is why I call it sticky rib. Mm. I believe that there's more sauce on my fingers than on this rib. Look at how clean it is. Come on, brother. There you go. Yes. Give it a try. You know you want it. Come get it. Come, come. Oh, no. Come. That's hard, right? Eating ribs and pointing the camera in the right direction. I'll try to move with the camera. Is it good? <laughs> There's some crazy good ribs. We got the beautiful smoke ring on there. These things are juicy, smoky, beautiful barbecue sauce and super, super sweet. My kids would absolutely love these. No spiciness in there, nothing like extreme or ordinary, extraordinary, but really solid good ribs, really good ribs. You see the problem, if you don't give these to anyone, you're not make, still not making any friends. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did then leave me a big thumbs up and a comment down below and uh, a big thank you to our patrons and YouTube members. You guys freaking rock. See you guys next time. Until then, it's Marklik and keep on grilling. <laughs> Ooh. Mm, okay.